Hey, this is Brendan from Colton RV and Marine, and I'm with the 2022 Grand Design Transcend Explorer 221 RB. This travel trailer comes in at 26 feet, 10 inches long. It's got one slide out on it. Let's check it out. The first thing you're gonna see on the front here is your power tongue jack. That's gonna make getting hitched up so easy. One less thing to worry about when you're heading to camp. And right behind that, we've got both of our propane tanks. Close that up. Heading around the side here, you're gonna see just gigantic pass-through storage. I believe this is an industry leading 43 cubic feet worth of pass through storage, if I'm not mistaken. Nice auto light pops on there so you can see what you're doing. And right here in the pass through storage, we have our convenience center. This is gonna be everything you need, all your hookups in one spot. We've got our power here. We've got our satellite and our cable, battery disconnect switch, solar monitor there. And we have our fresh tank fill and our city water hookups as well. And here's our slide, guys. This is a nice, solid slide. That thing's not going anywhere. Right here, we have our fridge and our theater seats, but we'll take a look at that when we go inside. Come around the back with me. I want to show you one thing. We've got our 30 amp hookups here, our gutter runoff up top there, and around the back, this is going to have a backup camera prep. So it doesn't come with a backup camera built in, but if you want to add one, it's already prepped to do just that. And my favorite part, it's got a fully walkable roof. Let's check it out. And at the very front of the roof there, we'll find our solar panel. All right, now let's go check out the inside of this Transcend. Oh, before we do that, look at the size of this awning. This awning runs almost the whole width of the front of our trailer. Now let's go in. So now we're on the inside of this Transcend Explorer. And the first thing I wanna point out is this full bathroom right behind me. We're gonna have a huge Walk in shower with a natural skylight here, so you can get plenty of natural light. And next to that, we've got tons of storage. You can put your towels, your change of clothes, anything you want to store in the bathroom, keep it there. Nice foot flush toilet there, keep it nice and simple. And my goodness, look at all this counter space in the bathroom. Do you believe that? We've got a nice sink to wash your hands, brush your teeth, everything you need to do to get ready. But all that counter space there leaves you plenty of room for your toothbrushes, your toiletries, everything like that. Gigantic medicine cabinet store even more things, whatever you want to take with you. You've got plenty of room for it. More storage down below, so if you want to put a little bathroom garbage in here, you can. You don't have to leave it out on the floor. It can tuck away. And more storage. It's just incredible. All right. And we have a nice privacy sliding door here. This is going to button up here when you're driving down the road so it doesn't come slamming closed and make all sorts of noise while you're pulling it. But let's close that up so you can see how it goes. See, it's a nice sturdy snap, so it's not going to come out while you're driving. Close that up. Heading now into the living space, the first thing you guys are gonna notice is this huge Thomas Paine theater seating. Every single one of these is gonna recline, even this one in the middle. So comfortable, I could fall asleep right here. No, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Close that up, I'll show you they all recline. These ones here, of course, have cup holders. Super comfortable Thomas Paine furniture. You guys have seen this in all the grand designs. Right across, you've got your flat screen LED TV. That's a Roku TV there. So that's gonna be fully equipped as a smart TV. You can have your Netflix, whatever streaming services you use. That's all built in, but right behind it, we're gonna have our power and cable. So if you just wanna want run cable or um, an antenna, you can do that as well. And right around the other side of the TV, we have our convenience center. This is gonna be all your lights, uh, your water hookups, your gas, your electric, your slides, and your awning retract. Right here, re real simple buttons to use. And right below that, we have our Furion entertainment system. So this is gonna connect to the speakers outside, but there's also speakers in the ceiling. You can connect it to your phone with Bluetooth. You can stick a USB in there, or it's got the old fashioned AM FM radio on there too. Guys, more storage. It's Grand Design is known for it. Every place they can put storage. There's storage, storage doors, storage drawers. And then we have our kitchen. This is a residential kitchen. It's got everything you'd find at home. It's right here in your, in your RV. Look at the size of this sink. This is a gigantic stainless steel sink nice stainless steel faucet do all your dishes everything else you need to do in there it's even got a uh, pull down faucet there gigantic storage door underneath that sink access to all of your your water pipes looks like your heating's under there as well um, but under here you can put your garbage again you don't have to have it out put it in there under the sink out of the way uh, i love the furion appliances these things are so nice this is going to be a furion oven so you've got your oven but you also have a three burner propane cooktop. So any cooking you wanna do at home or that you usually do at home, you can take with you to the campsite, do it on the road, prepare your meals just the same way you would. 
And guess what? More storage for pots and pans. This deep, tall drawer is a perfect spot to put all your pans, all your pots, out of sight, out of mind. And of course, we've got a Furion microwave too. For when you don't necessarily want to do all that cooking, pop it in the microwave, reheat last night's dinner, and maybe make some popcorn for your movie. And everywhere you look in the kitchen, we've got these nice storage cabinets for your food, your plates, anything else you want to take with you. And I really like the tinted glass on the front of these um, cabinets. It's not a wood all the way across, so it gives it a really dynamic look as compared to the other storage drawers that we've seen on the bottom. Let's see, is there anything else good to point out in the front? Oh yeah, this is cool. So this is a really um, nice feature that they've added in recent years. These are your floor vents. Um, so this is where the heat and air conditioner are gonna come from. Traditionally, they used to put these on the floor. So all sorts of dirt and hair would get stuck in there and it would just kind of mess up your heating and cooling system. They've added that really nice feature. And of course we have our fridge. So we've got our freezer. You can fit everything you need in the freezer there. Two shelves, close that up. There's plenty of room in there. It might not be quite residential, but you can fit everything you need for the amount of people you can fit in this trailer anyway. That's plenty of space. Oh, look, there's a nice natural skylight up there too. Letting in the natural light from our showroom. Um, directly below that, they call this a pet drawer. So if you guys are bringing your cats, your dogs, your ferrets, your hamsters, your birds, whatever you're bringing with you, you wanna put their food bowls in there. Um, or if you don't have pets, again, it's just more storage. All right, and at the very front of this trailer, we have the bedroom. In the bedroom, we're gonna find a full queen bed. So you'll have plenty of room to sleep at the end of the day, super comfortable bed underneath the bed. We're gonna find nice spring assist storage. So everything you'd want to put um, underneath the bed, keep out of sight, out of mind, perfect place for it. And it's huge too. Like I said, it's a queen size bed and tons of storage underneath. Close that up. And on either side of the bed, we have outlets. So you can plug in a nice little lamp on the end there or something like that and USB ports. So you can plug your phone chargers right in there and the other sorts of devices you might have. Um, more overhead storage. So you can put you know whatever you want, books, anything else, your movies up there. We can do that and we've got wardrobe storage. You have the built-in closet hooks. Let me open this one too so you can get a good idea. Nice, deep, tall wardrobe storage. You can put all your clothes, shirts, pants, suits. If you wanna bring a suit camping, go ahead, you can do that. And while there isn't actually a TV back here in the bedroom, they have a spot designated for it with power up here and cable hookups waiting. So if you want to put a TV back here or if you want us to put one in for you, we can do that too. And when it's finally time to call it a night, there's of course these wonderful blackout shades, close out some of the light from everybody else's campfires, or if you just want to sleep in in the morning, this is a great way to keep the sun out. And like we saw in the bathroom, guys, there's going to be a nice privacy door back here as well for when it's time to call it a night.